A company specializing in cord blood storage is on the defense after a client accused it of making false claims. A mother whose child suffered a serious injury says the company had told her cord blood could be used in nerve repair. The company insists it would only mention this kind of treatment as a potential area of future research. A major car accident in January of this year left Shun Shun with permanent paralysis. The child has made some physical progress and is now finally able to smile. Shun Shun's mother said that three years ago she spent 75,000 NT dollars to store blood from Shun Shun's umbilical cord at baby banks. She claims an employee of the company told her that this blood could be used to repair nerves. However, the Ministry of Health and Welfare has deemed the technology immature in Taiwan and does not allow its use. If the Ministry of Health and Welfare thinks it is unsafe and the technology is not yet in place in Taiwan, how can cord blood services be sold? I think the government is acting very strange. However, Baby Banks believes the mother misinterpreted its message. The company insists that its staff said cord blood requires future research. We are very sorry, really sorry. She must have been mistaken. Our staff explained to consumers very clearly what medical stage we are at and what the next phase of research will be. An investigation by local media found that Baby Banks only advertises its storage technology. It's much more conservative than competitors such as health banks and stem site, which say cord blood can be used in organ reconstruction. Stored cord blood in Taiwan currently can only be used to treat thalassemia and leukemia. It cannot be used for nerve repair or organ reconstruction. If a company is found guilty of making such excessive claims, it could be liable for a fine up to 500,000 NT dollars.